For Mashable, I'm Christian Bryant. Space Exploration's Next Frontier is using the private industry to fund its experiments. However, unlike SpaceX, not all of us have that kind of cash to set aside for a vacation in space. So why not try crowdsourcing your way into space? This is the ArduSat, and its creators, NanoSatisfy, are ready to bring open source space exploration to the masses. Their ArduSat is built from a CubeSat satellite, which is only about 100 cubic centimeters in size. But packed inside are tons of sensors ranging from accelerometers, an ozone sensor, even a Geiger counter. The sensors will be controlled by the Arduino Nano computer on board. Its creators say one problem they'll need to overcome is keeping the processor from overheating when there's no air during orbit. So a custom printed circuit board will hold the processors with thermal spreaders. The highly conductive pads will help draw away any heat from the board. That's enough protection to keep the satellite in orbit for up to 18 months. Since the satellite is open source, researchers will be able to access ArduSat's array of sensors. If you're an Arduino junkie, you can send your code to the team and they'll run your experiment when the satellite launches. Rest assured, this satellite will launch in July of 2013. The project has been funded more than three times over on Kickstarter. More importantly, this means the team at NanoSatisfy has reached its $100,000 goal. They promised to add new features from user feedback. The original goal was $35,000 to simply cover the cost of launching the satellite. Pretty reasonable when considering SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket reportedly costs $27 million per flight. For Mashable, I'm Christian Bryant.